312. The Holy Instant and Special Relationship. 1. The Holy Instant is the Holy Spirit's most useful learning device for teaching you love's true meaning, for its purpose is to suspend judgment entirely. Judgment always rests upon the past, for past experience is the basis on which you judge. Judgment becomes impossible without the past, for without it you cannot understand anything, and you would make no attempt to judge, because it would be quite apparent to you that you do not understand what anything means. You are afraid of this because you believe that without the ego all would be chaos. Yet I assure you that without the ego all would be love. 2. The past is the ego's chief learning device, for it is in the past that you learned to define your needs and acquire methods for meeting them on your own terms. We have said that no limit to love in part of the sonship is to bring guilt into your relationships and thus makes them unreal. If you seek to separate out certain aspects of the totality and look to them to meet your own imagined needs, you are attempting to use separation to save yourself. How then could guilt not enter? For separation is the source of guilt, and to appeal to it for salvation is to believe that you are alone. To be alone is to be guilty. For to experience yourself as alone is to deny the oneness of the Father and His Son, and thus to attack reality. 3. You cannot love parts of reality and understand what love means. If you would love unlike to God, who knows no special love, how can you understand it? To believe that special relationships with special love can offer you salvation is the belief that separation is salvation, for it is the complete equality of the atonement in which salvation lies. How can you decide what special aspects of the sonship can give you more than others. The past has taught you this, yet the holy instant teaches you it is not so. 4. Because of guilt, all special relationships have equal elements of fear hidden in them. This is why they shift and change so frequently. They are not based on changeless love alone. And love, where fear has entered, cannot be depended on because it is not perfect. In this function, as interpreter of what you made, the Holy Spirit uses special relationships which you have chosen to support the ego as learning experiences to point to truth. Under his teachings, every relationship becomes a lesson in love. 5. The Holy Spirit know to kn <laughs> The Holy Spirit knows no one is special, yet he also perceives that you have made special relationships which he would purify and not let you destroy. However unholy the reason that you have made them up to be, he can translate them into holiness 
by removing as much fear as you will let him. You can place any relationship under his care and be sure that it will not result in pain. If you offer him your willingness to have it serve no need but his, all the guilt in it arises from your use of it, all the love from his. Do not, then, be afraid to let go of your imagined needs, which would only destroy the relationship. Your need is only his. 6. Any relationship you would substitute for an other has not been offered to the Holy Spirit for his use. There is no substitute for love. If you would attempt to substitute one aspect of love for another, you have placed less value on one and more upon the other. You have not only separated them, but you have also judged against both. Yet you have judged against yourself first, or else you would have never imagined the need for your brothers, as they were not, unless you had seen yourself as without love, you could not have judged against them, so like in you lack. 7. The ego's use of relationships is so fragmented that it frequently goes even farther. One part of one aspect suits its purpose, while it prefers different parts of another aspect. Thus does it assemble reality into its own capricious making, offering for your seeking a picture whose likeness does not exist. For there is nothing in heaven or earth that resembles it, and so, however much you would seek for this reality, you cannot find it, because it is not real. 8. Everyone on earth has formed special relationships, and although this is not so in heaven, the Holy Spirit knows how to bring a touch of heaven to them here. In the holy instant, no one is special, for your personal needs intrude on no one to make your brothers seem different. Without the values from the past, you would see them all the same and like yourself, nor would you see any separation between yourself and them. In the holy instant, you see in each rela relationship what will be when you perceive only the present. God knows you now. He remembers nothing, having always known you exactly as he knows you now. The holy instant reflects this knowing by bringing all perception out of the past, thus removing the frame of reference you have built by which to judge against your brothers. Once this is gone, the Holy Spirit substitutes His frame of reference for it. His frame of reference is simply God. The Holy Spirit's timelessness lies only here, for in the holy instant, free of the past, you see that love is in you, and that you have no need to look without and snatch love guilty from where you thought that it was. 10. All of your relationships are blessed in the holy instant, 
because the blessing is not limited. In the holy instant, the sonship gains as one, and united in your blessing, it comes to be one with you. And the meaning of love is the meaning that God has given to it. Give to it any meaning which is apart from this, and it will become impossible to understand it. God loves every brother as he loves you, neither less nor more. He needs them all equally, and so do you. In time, you have been told to offer miracles as I direct, and let the Holy Spirit bring to you those who are seeking you. Yet, in the holy instant, you d have united directly with God, and all of your brothers join with you in Christ. Those who are joined in Christ are in no way separated, for Christ is the self which the Sonship shares, as God shares himself with Christ. 11. Think that you can judge the self of God? God has created it beyond judgment, out of his need to extend his love, with love in you, and you have no need to accept to you have no need except to extend love. In the holy instant, there is no conflict and no need of it. There is only one. For the holy instant reaches out into eternity and to the mind of God. And it is only there love has meaning. And only there can it be understood.